sense of yourself. Um, I believe that life keeps going after this life. And I believe that a lot of the things that we surround ourselves with in life dull us from our spirit inside. And I feel like you can really connect to your spirit um, via being alone and understanding who you are as a person and loving yourself in a not physical aspect. You don't have to necessarily think you're the cutest or the smartest or the funniest. That's not what self-love is ultimately gonna do for you. Self-love is when you're going to look at yourself in the mirror and you're going to say, you know what, today I'm going to survive because ultimately, if I'm not surviving, I'm not living for me. And if I'm not living for me, nobody else is going to care because they have to live for them. So if I, can, if I don't care about me and I'm not living for me and I'm not making sure that I'm okay, at what point do I have to say, that no one is responsible for me. Nobody has to take care of me. I've made it this far and I have to keep progressing. And I don't mean in a sense of financial stability. I'm not talking about that. It has nothing to do with finances. Self-love has nothing to do with what you do as a job. It has nothing to do with where you go to school. It has nothing to do with what kind of music you listen to. It doesn't have anything to do with what's your favorite food. Self-love is simply gonna be your day-to-day -day processes and how you, and how you view yourself away from what you think you should feel about yourself that's going to ultimately hurt your feelings because if you think about anything that can hurt your feelings that thought's going to be in your mind more than any thought of positivity about yourself so if you can concentrate on the on the thoughts of the negativity relay that in your head as false in your mind look in the mirror tell yourself that for example i don't get tape lines right i i i cut the hair on the sides myself because it just gets messy but i don't all right somebody clowns me for my hairline blah 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 if it really affected me all right first of all you can't you can't let your value to yourself be impacted by how other people portray you because ultimately you're confused if you're doing that nobody's opinion has anything to do with how you should feel about yourself but if it did get to that point hypothetically and i was so torn about this if i go inside and i was to look in the mirror i should look at myself and if i'm not going to change anything i should accept it as me wow that's me that's my hairline wow i'm not going to change it wow it doesn't have to be the most beautiful it's not the best it's not the worst but it is mine and i have to accept that and because i accept that Nothing anybody else can say from here on out will affect me in that regard. And whenever you start to surround yourself in that mindset where now other people's actions, words, none of that can really bother you and you really surrounded yourself, that's when I think you can understand 